What's going on everybody? My name is Steve and you're watching the Mr. Big Kid channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in and thank you all for watching. Well, I've had this shotgun for probably about five to six years now and here it is. This is the Stoger M3K. It's basically a three gun shotgun model based off of the Stoger M3000 platform. Very familiar inertia uh, recoil system just like the Benelli and there's a couple features over the M3000 that the M3K has um, so that being said recent prices I've seen this on Brownells except with the 10 plus 1 magazine extension tube about $680 Essentially Stoger wanted a competition three gun shotgun from factory that you can buy. This is exactly how I bought it from factory. So I've done nothing to the shotgun the way you see it right now. I did buy an extension tube to give me 10 plus one as well. But this is how I bought it. It comes with this standard size uh, magazine tube. Off the top of my head I want to say it's four plus one, possibly five plus one. I guess we'll find out when we do some shooting. Um, it comes with three different types of chokes. Um, this one, I forget which choke I have in it right now. I think it's the modified choke, but it shoots everything and you can shoot slugs through this particular one. So that's something you always wanna check. Make sure before you shoot slugs with your shotgun, make sure that your choke can handle a slug. Um, other than that, you have basically a polymer, uh, polymer handguard right here, polymer stock, little rubber recoil pad that has a little honeycomb um, soft pad right there and yeah so m3k what makes it a little different is you have an oversized blue anodized aluminum bolt release button right here and then right here you have an oversized anodized blue aluminum charging handle or bolt handle right there on the bottom you have a widened uh, loading port right down here and it's kind of has this little carve, makes it easier for quad loads, makes it easier to load in general, speed loads for reloading um, when you're out there in the competition setting. It's got a little blue Stoger emblem right down here. So let's not talk too much about it before we do though. I will say it's very hot in the desert right now. Right now it's about 110 degrees out. So if you guys are lucky enough to find a shooting spot when you're out here in Arizona desert, please bring precautions to keep from being that next person that starts the forest fire. Bring a fire extinguisher, bring water, bring something to douse a fire out. Make sure where you're shooting there's no brush. Don't shoot steel in that direction. Don't shoot anything that'll create sparks. So let's just do our part not to burn the desert down. That being said, I love shooting outside and I'm allowed to shoot here so let's take this guy out. I put thousands of shells through this shotgun with very minimal failures. Without further ado, let me set something up down there. Uh, we're gonna set up just a water bottle. We're gonna blast it with some bird shot. I got some slugs, I've got some bird shot, and I've got some buck shot. So, here we go. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fire a one ounce federal slug. Oh, I missed. Those slugs do some damage. I know some of the question was, how many does this tube hold from factory? We got one, two, three, four. All right, so four plus one. So this is just some regular bird shot. This is Winchester white box. Thank you. 
I feel like just between the inertia recoil system, this little soft pad, if you end up putting like a limb saver on the stock as well, you could really soften this thing up. I've thrown thousands of rounds through this shotgun. And the more I shoot it, the more broken in it gets, the better it feels. This is the pizza box challenge. You take a large pizza box, or in this case, an extra large pizza box, and you pace out the longest distance in your house uh, how far you want to set this box up. Let's pace it out. Let's check it out. I'll bring it back. Here we go. Here's the pattern from about 60 feet away if I had to guess. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm guessing the wadding um, probably hit below or something. So that's from about 60 feet away with the Stoger M3K with the modified choke on it, which is pretty much how I always keep my shotgun configured. Let's do some more bird shot. One thing I like with this um, shotgun is the expanded or the opened up loading port. It really helps with doing quad loads um, or just fast reloads in general. Kind of like this, you have four shells in your hand, right? And then basically you put the shotgun on your shoulder, put it in a loading ramp. I'm very slow at quad loads. Those are, that was two rounds. You take the second two and just stick them in. Whoops. Ah, the Stoger M3K. This shotgun is fun, easy to use, and affordable. Essentially, you're kind of getting a Benelli for, I mean, a third to a quarter of the cost of a Benelli. So, if you guys are looking to get into competition or something, I do recommend the Stoger M3K. Um, it's, it's a great shotgun. It rarely fails me if it does something stupid, but, Oh, camera's overheating again. Unfortunately, my camera just kept overheating. Sorry about that, guys. But um, I'm just going to close out the video right here. The Stoker M3K, like I said, I've had it for several years now, and it's been an excellent shotgun. I haven't felt the need or urge to upgrade it just because it's been doing what I bought it for. And it's a great entry-level option to get into 3-gun, or you can also use it for bird hunting. It does come with a little dowel, like an orange dowel to limit your shell count to uh, two plus one. So, I mean, that's nice. It's a great bird hunting shotgun. Um, I believe it's a 24 inch barrel. Uh, I believe it's 24 inch, but don't take my word for it. We'll do a little research and I'll put the information in the video uh, right here. So, um, but yeah, if you guys are looking for an entry level shotgun, but something that's like, something that'll carry you through pretty well, um, I, I really like the Stoger M3K. When I first bought it, it did have some break-in, it did have quite a break-in period. Um, after the first 200 shells, maybe, it really started to loosen up. But before I, before that break-in period, I would get certain things like failure to feeds, failure to ejects, or it just didn't go into battery completely, certain stuff like that. Um, but ever since that break-in period has passed and it's just seen a lot of use, it's such a good feeling shotgun. I wish it did have a little more weight to it. It feels like it's feather light, but it's, I like it. I really do. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I actually have an interesting view right now of exactly what I was talking about. There is a uh, forest fire or a brush fire now way in the distance over at Superstition Mountains. I'll show you guys that footage right now. I'll see you guys later. Have an excellent day. Have a blessed day. Get out there and shoot, haul your trash back out with you, and take something else that you didn't bring out. If someone else left some trash for you to pick up, just pick it up. Let's, let's, uh, let's keep our shooting spots open. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.